Hello, everybody. Let's get started with the HL stuff for um, inheritance 10.2. So 10.21 wants us to, to be able to do something um, with dihybrid crosses. So we need to calculate genotype and phenotype ratios, which we've done before. But this time, instead of a mono, which means one, we're going to use a di, that means two, cross. And the important thing is that these genes are unlinked which means they're not on the same chromosome, and they're autosomal, which means they're not sex cells. So they're not on the X or the Y. Uh, I'm sorry, not sex cells. They're not uh, X and Y chromosomes. So when we were doing monohybrid crosses, we were only looking at the movement of one gene on one chromosome. So in the example that we're going to do, we're going to look at a pea plant, and we're going to look at color first. So if you remember, I think we may have even done this. So pea plants can be yellow or green, and yellow is dominant. So we write big Y for yellow and a little y for green. But there's more than one chromosome in the body or in each of your nuclei. So it's very possible to look at the movement of two genes on two, right, unlinked, two separate chromosomes. So the other allele, the other gene we're going to look at, is the texture of the P. So it could be smooth or it could be rough. Smooth is dominant, so we write a big S. Rough is recessive, so we write a small s. So if you remember, when these are going to move to sperm and egg, they're going to end up filling four different sperm, right? And they could move into any of these different combinations. So it is completely possible that this big Y chromosome ended up with this big S chromosome. These two will not end up in the same chromosome, right? Because they're going to be pulled in opposite directions when you remember we were talking meiosis. But we could also have like a big Y and the small s. It could be the little y and this big S. And it could also be the little y over here and also this little s. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the possible offspring we can get if we cross these. So let's do an example where we cross two heterozygous um, plants, and they're heterozygous at both places. So that means when we write the genotypes, one plant is going to be big, big, by, big Y, little y. That's heterozygous. And also little s, I'm sorry, big S, little s for texture. And we're crossing it with another heterozygous one. I'm going to write it on top here so we have room. Big Y, little y, and big S, little s. Homozygous at both loci, both positions at the um, chromosome. And then when we're, turning, we're determining our gametes, which we already did here, we just write it out. Like one sperm, if this is a male, could be big Y, big S, but it also could be big Y, little s. Or it could be little y, big S, or it can be little y, little s. And the same for this, let's say it's a female and she's making eggs. So big Y, big S, big Y, little s, little Y, big S, and also little Y, little s. And then you do the crosses. And what's different here is we're going to have four sets of like four sets of alleles that we're looking at. So if this big Y, big S met this big Y, big S, it's all going to be big. Big Y, big Y, big S, big S. But it's also equally possible like this one down here, let's look at this one, for example. This little y and little y, big S, and this little y, big S get together. So then we have a little y, little y, big S, big S. It's also possible that maybe this big y, little s, met this little y, little s. So then you would have a big y, little y, little s, little s. And all these are going to be different phenotypes, right? They're all going to look different. And we're going to have 14 different combinations. And then, um, but some of them will be repeated. So for example, as far as the phenotypes go, let's cross this one and this one. So we have a big Y, little y, big S, big S. So if we looked at the phenotypes, big Y, big Y, big S, big S, that is going to be a yellow smooth P. We're also going to have a yellow smooth P here, right? Big Y, little y, because that's dominant, it's going to be yellow, and smooth is dominant, so that's going to be smooth. However, in this situation, we have a little y, little y, so that means it's a green plant, but big S, big S, so that's going to be smooth. And that's how dihybrids work.